Join me on today's show as I put together a warm salad of sauteed chicken livers with smoked bacon. With my salad, we will try a wine made from old vines growing around a 19th century chateau in the Beaujolais region of France. Then my guest will show you how easy it is to make duck confit in a champagne vinegar and fresh cherry sauce. With the duck, I'll pair it with a Spanish wine from 40-year-old vineyards of the Rioja Alta region. Fun crowd. Hi, I'm Bob Wagner. Welcome to You Cook. This is going to be one of my favorite shows. I'm already going into it, I know, because we have great wines. And it looks like we've got a fantastic crowd of gastronomes helping me out here. Who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? I'm Tom Stefanci. I live in Manhattan, New York. In a New Yorker? Yes. All right. Born and raised in New York? No, no. Born and raised in Connecticut, but uh, lived lots of places and I'm enjoying New York City a lot. And Charleston, first time? Char first time down to Charleston. Uh, Rome and I came down to enjoy the town for the weekend and come see your show. And oh, good. I was going to say, because there's way too much color coordination <laughs> acting going on here. Who, who picked out the outfits here? Did no. Did you? Ah, okay. Hi, I'm Roma. Like Tom was saying, we're from Manhattan and visiting Charleston, having a fantastic time. Great town. Um, and just excited to be on the show. And you like to drink wine. Love to drink wine. You like to eat. Love to eat. Food You're in the wine. right place, Foodie Roma. Foodie and winey, so it's good. It's good. I can attest to the winey part on occasion. Oh. <laughs> She's smiling so now. <laughs> I'll keep my knives over to this side of the table, Tom. Any of these sharp objects, we'll keep over to this thank side. You, thank you, thank you. I'm uh, Guy Genoux. I'm from France, uh, from uh, the south of France. I'm from Cannes. Oh, great. I moved to the States 20 years ago and been in the hotel restaurant business for the past 25 years. All right, big round of applause for my foodies here. You guys ready to cook? Ready to drink some wine and just get started? Perfect, let's do it. All right, first off, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a little pan, get a pan hot, go over real quick what our ingredients are. I've got this beautiful radicchio, I've got some beautiful mosh, little, oh, I remember the name now, lamb's lettuce is what they actually call it in the States. And then uh, look at these pretty little uh, watercress sprouts, some frisee, some beautiful smoked bacon, these little sunflower uh, sprouts, and some pea shoots on top of that, and these beautiful chicken livers. Anybody chicken liver? Nobody's frowning chicken liver salad? Oh, yeah, she's going, yeah, yeah, I like that. Perfect. Some shallots that I've just cut some simple rounds out of. And we're going to make a fun little, fun little salad and actually some uh, red wine vinegar. Fun stuff. Cabernet vinegar, actually, that I got for this. Let's see, what are we going to do? A little grapeseed oil? Yeah, I know. I, 11 years in France. I know the chicken liver salads in, uh, in France. It's one of the best. And when I actually handpicked through these, I don't know if you guys can see these or not. Different color ones. In, in France, the Poulet de Bresse from the Bresse region near Lyon is where the, I mean, chickens are $65 for a chicken. I mean, these are the most amazing chickens you, you can imagine. The government is regulated on how these chickens are raised, and they're spectacular. Get a fun, clean flavor. We're going to salt and pepper. Good amount on this. In a nice hot pan. So we want to sear it, get a really nice sear on it. Flavors everything. When you can sear something, it's going to have a lot of wonderful flavor. We're going to get these in and spread them around. And let them just kind of do their thing. I got a mmm from Guy over there. That's a good one. And you don't see chicken liver salads very often anymore. No, I think it was something no. from, uh, I mean, as a kid, did you guys eat chicken liver? No? Yeah, that no. Family, not at all? Yep. Yep, That's you did. Great. All right. At least you know if you don't like it, she can have your portion. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it's the other way around. Oh, is it really? It's my portion. Are you, picky? Are you a picky eater? No, not really. Not so bad? No, not picky at all. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's take a look. Just a light sear like that. We're going to keep them nice and medium rare. We're going to finish them off, finish that cooking off back in the pan. And I'm going to leave that fat in there. Because some of it might lose a little, little blood, a little of the juice, and uh, that's all good flavor, though. A little bit of in there. We're going to get our shallots in there. Let that cook real quick. I'm not going to cook these guys down. I just want to get some of that, get rid of that harsh shallot flavor. Brown a little bit. Whoa, jumper. And these guys. Like that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of bacon. And I'm not even going to crisp this. Some of the bacon, sometimes I like to have it where, uh, like a laudon in France, where it's not, they don't really do crispy, crispy bacon in France. Oh, no. It's usually... Usually like this, isn't it? Just, just like that. Mm. Usually the, the flavor just a little bit uh, seared, very lightly seared. 
Yeah, I gotta say, the first Frenchman on the show. I like wow. that. I like that. In Louisville, how long have you been in Louisville? I've uh, been in Louisville for four years now. Oh, okay. I love it. Great, great, uh, great city. All right.